Hi, I'm Senior Hurricane Specialist John Cangelosi from the National Hurricane Center. People are often inclined to compare historical storms that have occurred in similar geographic areas. This could be dangerous and misleading. Large storms can produce dramatically different impacts compared to small storms, even if the intensity is the same. Let's talk about two hurricanes of similar strength and track, but different sizes, Ian and Charlie. Hi, I'm Peyton Colado from the National Hurricane Center. In 2004 and 2022, Southwest Florida was hit by devastating Category 4 hurricanes. The eyes of Charlie and Ian made landfall in nearly the exact same spot and nearly the same time of day. With the maximum winds both estimated to be 150 miles per hour and the same minimum pressure. With such similarities, why was the overall footprint of impact so different in these hurricanes? Let's take a look at the details. These images give you a sense of the storm sizes and where the similarities end. It can be seen that the tropical storm force winds in yellow and hurricane force winds in red in Ian are nearly double the size of what they were in Charlie. During Ian, nearly the entire Florida peninsula experienced some wind impacts, but only about half the peninsula saw wind impacts during Charlie. Although storm size is not perfectly correlated with the total amount of rain from tropical cyclones, they are related. As Ian slowly trekked across the peninsula, about 18 counties were faced with rainfall amounts exceeding 10 inches. The peak rain total was almost 27 inches. On the other hand, Charlie moved nearly three times faster than Ian, which in combination with its small size reduced the total rain footprint significantly. The larger area of strong winds in Ian is a major factor in why the peak storm surge was about twice as high in that hurricane and penetrated farther inland compared to Charlie. The strong onshore winds on Ian's east side pushed ocean water inland, which was responsible for numerous fatalities in southwest Florida. Conversely, the smaller Charlie produced significantly lower storm surge. A way to think about storm surge and how it relates to storm size is to imagine yourself in a pool. Consider how much water you can push around if you move your finger at the top of the water in the pool. On the other hand, how much more water could you move around if you used your entire arm? Take a look at this animation, and it should be clear how important storm size is to the amount of storm surge produced. This table lists a comparison of United States related damages and fatalities between Charlie and Ian, adjusted for inflation to current US dollars. It is clear to see how much more devastating Ian was and undoubtedly its larger size and slower forward speed had a lot to do with it. Another factor, however, is a significant increase in wealth and infrastructure in Southwest Florida between 2004 and 2022 that likely played a role in the notable difference in damages. Based on climatology, as catastrophic as Ian was, it was relatively close to the average size of a major hurricane near Florida. The bar graph compares the average major hurricane size over Florida to the sizes of Ian and Charlie. Based on storm size data of major hurricanes from 2004 to 2022, Charlie falls in the 10th percentile and Ian near the 60th percentile. The National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service take into account the storm size when issuing tropical storm, hurricane, and storm surge watches and warnings. So it's highly advised that individuals use those when making decisions about protecting themselves, their families, and properties. In addition, there are products on the National Hurricane Center's website that incorporate storm size information such as the wind speed probabilities, storm surge probabilities, and the potential storm surge inundation graphic, to name a few. The bottom line is that forecasters understand how storm size can affect hazards, and it is good practice to pay attention to forecasts rather than comparing the current event with previous storms or experiences. Lastly, it is always advised to heed the advice of local officials and evacuate if told to do so. For more information on hurricanes, please visit hurricanes.gov. Thanks for watching.